Hello everyone, this is uh, Black Woman 7 here and today I'll be discussing uh, something that kind of pertains to like the recent news about starting uh, Mega Evolution so I'll try to like my points as brief as possible even though I kind of will go over board in some, in some respects so yeah. Um, in regard to like recent news about like the confirmation of Mega Evolution. Um, we basically now know that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee will have some some of these guys because of course they confirmed like several like I guess I think in the beginning that oh look only the 151's here and some Alolans so so what I did was I compiled the well I think I compiled a list of all the Kanto Mega Evolutions and I wanted to talk about each of them. However, I want to do a little bit of spin or a little bit of speculation or theory mod in the sense that like... And by the way, this this information, I don't know whether it's like... or This is like just pure speculation and, pure, and also theory mod because... I'm pretty much trying to theorize or talk about what would a competitive metagame for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee would, would, would look like. Um, I, don't, I don't think it will replace the more settled, like the settled, like, or the more like settled formats, like, you know, like, you know, for, based on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But I think it will be like sort of like a side format in a sense. Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe this might become the next BGC format. And then maybe there might be something in, like, shown in, like, uh, Showdown, like, for this type of stuff. So, yeah. Um, so. Um, regarding, uh, Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. There's one thing, there's like, th there's like several things that they haven't confirmed yet. And that is the lack of mega, potential Mega Evolution, oh no, not Mega Evolution. Or the lack of abilities and the lack of items. I guess you could also go forward and say like, uh, um, rating moves as well, so. And if like all these Megas, just looking through them all, like they like make it make a Gengar. Like, um, if Mega Gengar loses this Shadow Tag or there's no abilities, then most of these Pokemon are gonna be neutered almost completely. Like, I think some of the best examples, in my opinion, that for let's go Pikachu and Eevee, and that's just exclusive to there to, to that those games. By the way, I don't know if this could be like something that they'll carry over, but yeah, um. But shit like uh, Pidgeot won't have, won't likely have no guard if there's no abilities. <laughs> and like Mega Beedra with adaptability, no ability, no way to boost up stab. And Venusaur will just like get like nerfed hard with no thick fat. So yeah, you know, ir um, ironically, even though like uh, they showcase both Charizard X and Charizard Y, the fact you could Mega Evolve in the same in the it's like not in between but like um like just choose between the two it's kind of like insane in of itself but if there's no abilities then char y is like that's like cutting its wings and just cutting its arms at the same time and even its legs i don't know why i don't know why i said that analogy but like but i'm, I'm very, very serious here because like no drought means no sun to boost up your fire moves and your which for, you can base it off your already insane 159 special attack back and then no solar beam to hit like those uh its main weaknesses in like rock water and ground types that usually have some coverage options for char y so it's really like charizard y just pretty much got shafted so hard and not only that i think even as a special attacker i think char x might do it better than char y just because the fact that it has a better typing and like and this is where like um there's some of these pokemon i ranked in those certain certain like, points like in my opinion like if there is going to be a metagame where uh let's go pikachu let's go eevee has no abilities has no like items and whatnot well then again megas are not going to have any items don't have items to begin with so yeah but if uh, Megas don't have abilities, 
And the reason why I'm, I'm also making this current as well is because um, Charizard Y does, isn't shown to have like droughts or there's an like, image like in the Japanese like trailer in which showcases Char Y having the ability drought. Which is pretty like, well, well, it doesn't showcase it at all. Like, you know, normally when you use Charizard Y in battle, like you would see like, oh, the, the animation that, oh, the sun's set up already. And you see like the little ball of light right there, indicating that it's like, it's sunny right there. So, but the fact that there wasn't any indication of that, maybe this, it could be wrong because like, you know, the way they, they angled it, the way they called it, and then the lighting itself. But then again, that could be also the graphics of the game. So yeah. And, or maybe they just don't showcase it with drought at all. Like, maybe that's just troll freak being troll freak. So yeah, um, you know, I mean, that's mostly game freak. You know, just trolling and saying, "Hey, look, Evader may not have drought." Just like how, like in Gen Six, like they showcase Deancy using Power Gem, but then like in this one image, and then like uh, it doesn't have Power Gem at all. It does get it now, but in Gen Seven, but it's just kind of funny. So, but like, wait. Okay. I went a little bit off tangent there, so what I'm trying to mention is that like Charizard X might actually be the best Mega if Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee has some form of competitive format. And here's why. Yes, it loses Tough Claws, but it can still Sword Stance. It still has good stabs in Dragon Claw and Flare Blitz. It has Earthquake, Rock Slide. Um, The fact that it's that of Charizard, it doesn't lose much. Like you could just teach it. It has already an expansive like PM list as well. Like even here, like you go to Char X or not that. Um, let's go to Charizard. Um, it already has a very good move pool to start off with, like Heat Wave, Flare Blitz, Flamethrower, um, Earth Slash, Dragon Claw, still. So. Maybe or maybe not, like, and I think it, in the trailer it does showcase Dragon Pulse, but I don't know if their uh, move tutors are going to be allowed as well, so that's another section of moves you could try. But we don't know if, whether breeding is allowed in the games or not, because breeding would be very interesting. Uh, because it, ha it gives Charizard X access to, of course, Dragon Dance and, uh, like, even Belly Drum Hill Oil, but yeah. Um, but the thing I'm trying to mention is that this thing has a lot of versatility. Like, it has access to Will-O-Wisp, like, you know, the Wisp tanks, Charizard X, the, uh, it could, the Sword Stand set with Flare, even Flame Charge. It could be, like, a Pseudo, like, Double Dance set. And then, like, you have, like, uh, even, I think, you gotta remember that since this is going to be in, like, exclusively for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, just look at the moves so uh, move book here a list of pokemon listen here like all like tell me what counters charizard x with factoring no abilities or just let's go pikachu let's go eevee just tell me what counters char x or you just leave that in the comments if you want but like with no abilities no items it's just it's almost like Damn near impossible. I think the closest thing I could think of is Mega Scarados and Mega Slowbro. And maybe to a degree, like Arrow, if it doesn't, like, set up. And of course the Mewtwo's. Mewtwo's, there's... Mewtwo and Mewtwo. Uh, excellent. That thing is... is that thing is even more broken. <laughs> if, if if Mewtwo could just also pick between the two, so... But yeah, the thing is, Charizard X has so much versatility. Like, even if you have a like, ground type, you can just run and Hidden Power Grass. And you just two shot him. You can just run a mixed attacker, and just still do work. Like that's why I'm. That's why I think like Charizard Y won't receive as much usage because Charizard X will just do its job even better. Like it'll just be a mixed attacker in a, in a format like that. So yeah. Um. So Gyarados doesn't really much lose that much. Maybe it might lose out Waterfall. Um, it just has Aqua Tail, but beside that, its ability is already based off of Mole Breaker, so it's Mole Breaker is based off of other abilities, so yeah, it doesn't lose that much. You have access to Dark Type Stab, and the fact that this is also another Dark Type, another strong Dark Type Pokemon. I think the only Mon that could beat this is like Mega Venusaur, 
if it doesn't get access to like well then again it, it, it learns already like ice fang so yeah it might have to be very contentious with that so yeah um then you have slow bro which is pretty much like a calm mindset it's gonna be really nice to have like yeah it loses shell armor you can't get crit anymore or you get you get crit now but do people really clamor about its ability <laughs> so yeah uh, but yeah, but Slowbro can be a really good tank, but maybe, it, but the thing is, it might, as a base form, it might lose out in like regen, so yeah. I think Alakazam, Pokemon like Alakazam, Mega Alakazam, and uh, okay, I don't know why I said that, <laughs> but like, Mega Alakazam and also Mega Aerodactyl will be useful because they still have, they're probably going to be the fastest Pokemon in the format, with 150 speed, so, like Alakazam, I think is uh, slightly better than like, um, arrow just because of psychic typing, of course, and the fact that like has access to moves like Calm Mind, oh not Calm Mind, but Dazzling Wave, Psychic, Psy Shock. I don't know if it'll have access to like stuff like some of its uh bitter moves and uh egg moves like uh, uh let's say Foul Play, Encore. Like, but yeah, this having access to like moves like Grass Knot, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, it, Thunder Wave, it's gonna be very dumb to deal with this guy, and it even has access to recover so. Like I think that's why I'm just putting these guys, these guys up very high because these could just set up and just recover off the damage and just still be fine. So yeah. Then you have Gengar, which I think with the nerf, without with the potential nerf to and it removing like Shadow Tag, it might just drop a little pegs. But then again, it's a format with 151, so it's not gonna lose that much out. So yeah. Um, begin with so yeah and uh, it still has a good access to some exclusive moves but then the only thing is you probably just lose out in like I guess you could say you lose out in like that's tutor well, not tutor moves like it's egg moves I know it learns uh, parasong it learns haze reflect type um there's another one like killer small like it learns it loses out in some of those like moves that like can help it like be niche so yeah um the thing about it is that the thing about it is you got to be very careful with it so yeah but it still has access to like 170 special attacks so then you have kangaskhan which finally got nerfed i don't know why but dang the fact that they just removed parental bond is hilarious if they remove it, its abilities then kang with parental bond might actually be more balanced than this thing but then again it's game freak so <laughs> aerodactyl like i said might just have a niche in the minute game just because it has like 150 speed so yeah um still has access to stone edge earthquake on and roost so yeah tough claws it sucks that it might lose out tough claws but remember earthquake stone edge or even rock slide if you don't like missing and just like flinching stuff it wasn't that bad to lose out but it might lose out some of some like egg moves. I think like white guard. So I don't know. Like I said, Char Y got nerfed so hard. Like the thing is, everything that Char Y can do, Char X can do better. <laughs> now the fact that it doesn't have drought, so that's gonna be stupid as well. So a Mega Venusaur. I think it, Mega Venusaur. It really depends on whether or not it has access to Giga Drain or egg moves in general. But if it does. Then like it'll still be okay, but it's gonna get nerfed with the loss of Dick Fat. But with Sludge Bomb, Leech Seed, and Sinitas, and I think Sinitas will be more consistent now that there's you to know Weather Setters now. So um, Mega Mega Vizier could still have access to shit like Sword Stance if it wants to try that out and like Sleep Powder. So I don't think it's gonna be a bad Mon Mega per se. This could be like it's probably gonna be like something like an anti meta. So. Or 151, so and a low ones. <laughs> so last noise, I think it's only niche will probably be like spinning hazards away. So yeah, um, but because Mega Launcher, like, kind of, it kind of relies on its learning uh egg moves from like you know to learn like RS Field Dark Pulse. Then I get Dark Pulse. I think it's a TM. So so now and Dragon Pulse, but I think last noise might actually learn that naturally now. So. But yeah, losing out on shit like water spell would be bad. Be bad. So yeah.
But you still have a good, relative good move with Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, even Earthquake just to hit Electric, so yeah. Oh, uh, Mega Beedrill. Losing out the back deck ability would be pretty really dumb. I mean, I guess the only thing it has it going for itself is the fact that it has access to Toxic Spikes and it has 145 speed, but we are not being able to outspeed uh, Mega Zam, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck. An arrow, so yeah. Its speed's good, but it's not that good enough for 